Hello everyone, welcome to Season 7 Apex Arena Day 3. Now this is for the 64 bracket. And I am facing off with Kaze307. Uh, I believe Kaze's account is fairly new as um, I think if you look in his hero card, there's only a couple seasons that he has been playing, not, not the, since the very beginning. So uh, really strong player to be able to make it up to, to here. Now, looking at the box, pretty meta as you can see. Uh, and there's also a Kyura in here. And Kyura is actually just came out uh, this past week. So, uh, my guess is going to either be a 5 star or a 6 star Kyura. Uh, but pretty much all meta heroes, with the exception that I can see, is a little bit off, it would be the D lit. Uh, but then d -Lit is strong because has gospel, has a lot of utility, and can hit fairly hard. I switched up my box just a little bit, but not by much. As you can see, I don't have Kyura because mine was only uh, 4 stars. So not going to do anything. Decided not to use her at all. Now looking at this box, because I do have Luna, I did place Luna back in the box. I wasn't too worried about Kyura. Uh, so let's see. Let's start with pick ban. Uh, ban pick, excuse me. Okay, so first, because he was first player, I got rid of Kruger. Didn't want to deal with that because his first ban will always going to be Rose and Zion. Uh He actually picked Hilda first. So I got rid of Rose and Seal and then the other possible sniper there. And pick Hilda myself. Now he got rid of Florentia and Bernhardt, which makes sense, which powers up Hilda. And he himself picks up Florentia. So I got rid of Bernhardt, didn't want to deal with AoE debuffs, and got my own healer. But unfortunately, I don't have Florentia myself. Uh, I got my SP Ultimate banned very quickly, and he picked up. Now he has a full Tensei team. Got rid of the other Ak again and the AoE. Pick up Luna because he pick up. He has TGS and he have Kyura around. And then even more Tensei. So I got rid of two long legs. And brought Emmerich. And since I had Luna, he didn't really want to try to assassinate me and went with utility instead with D lit. Um. And I didn't have a fusion buff for, well, actually I did, but I don't think I didn't think AOE was going to be that good, so I went with double tank instead. So let's start off with uh, soldiers and skills. So for she did bring pretty typical fusion buff. The wow, look at that HP twenty. Okay, still very de very nice defense. So I, I don't know what kind of crazy enchants Kaze has, that's, but that's all I can say. d -Lit went with infantry, probably because I was going to bring Crystal Molder. So the heavy infantry definitely will, will hit very hard. Very nice intel there. Uh, Light of Genesis actually was a little surprising on the skill. He didn't bring Teleport. Uh, or he didn't bring a uh, the other skill, so he can't really act again because the because all these are attack skills. Uh, but he did bring an AOE here, double AOE here, and then pretty typical and very nice HP on Florentia, twelve thousand there, and it has Amazon Amazon champion as the soldiers, which is interesting. Um, and then for me, I brought Emmerich, pretty typical. Luna, This I, I didn't bring any fusion buff for Luna. And I think this was one of the, my mistakes. I brought Wind God Realm, Wind Pressure, and Thunder, Raging Thunder, because I had a plan to hopefully snipe. But what I should have brought is the other skill where I 
give myself the buff and then fu a fusion buff in Raging Thunder. And I also brought the wrong uh, soldiers. I was meaning to bring in Griffin Knights, but I instead I brought Holy Pegasus and totally forgot about it. I did bring Templar Knights, uh, and then I always use Rout because I know there were some magic users, oh, pretty much all magic users on their side. And then I brought Gospel to kind of hopefully counter Lickle. Okay, and that's kind of where we're at. So let's see how it goes. So both sides is going to start off with moving forward. He's just kind of hanging back. I'm moving forward. Because of Emmerich, there is a possibility of sniping. Um, however, he didn't bring very tanky troops. So. so he's just parring up here and same on my side. So he's positioning himself so to make sure that even if Emir came in, you know, he's not gonna get sniped. So great positioning there. I edge forward, he painted the ground and got that clock. So anytime it licorice clocks it's really bad. Especially because I don't have anything to counter it. He went again and AoE. And this really hurt because if you look at, I'm very low now on HP. And then he, because he clocked, he again licorice. So I had to heal, but I have a heal block, so very dangerous. So he does triple AOE on the second turn. So now I'm down to 339 life. So Emric almost died there. Uh, but I'm not sure if Luna's aura actually helped. Um, I think it reduces... Well, uh, fixed damage is reduced by 35%. That's, that definitely helped from Hilda. And then the command of being... Uh, range is taken... is reduced from Landius also helps. And then I think... Where's oh the magic damage decreased by thirty percent, and it's because of the her count, her aura, his aura, and her aura that I live three AOEs miraculously, even though I was heal blocked. Okay, so his plan didn't work, and because she uh, is positioned in a way where there's a pillar right here, she actually can't reach me either. Um, with with his AOE, so yeah, I, I was able to survive, but I can't survive the next one, so I had to heal right away and get him back to full. But my problem here is that the ground here is very bad. So I'm just really just repositioning myself to see what I can do. Um, and here I'm gonna try to take advantage of Emmerich 3C with Luna. Uh, however, he has positioned himself that the only person that I can really reach with Luna is gonna be Licorice. But unfortunately, Licorice with uh, the Warlocks are super tanky. And his training is probably very strong. So as you can see, I did almost like I actually did no damage to Licorice. The Crystal Warlocks took everything, which is pretty crazy. But I think the, my issue is I didn't have Fusion buff, uh, and I'm using the wrong soldier. So I wasn't be able to do much. I'm not 100% sure if I would have been able to kill if I had Fusion buff. Would have been a lot closer. Um, but he, but she didn't have any damage reduction. She did have a damage dealt increase, but yeah, that's very unfortunate. Okay, so I missed my kill. Of course, he's gonna do anything to me, so I retreated. Now he's gonna 
push forward. And unfortunately because of the ground is painted, it's just gonna continue to do fixed damage to myself, doesn't matter where I move. And also possibility of a debuff. More AoE coming in. It's constantly taking damage and because of that, uh, I'm gonna lose my first life with Hilda. I think my positioning there is wasn't good. But instead of healing, I gospel myself, but I keep on taking damage. And he's at full HP. Now he's gonna finish off my second life with Hilda. So, great job there. And he's still in that zone where he's just gonna be continue to be able to hammer me with ranged damage. And I'm just kind of stuck taking a lot of damage. And because Luna doesn't have her fusion buff, just not able to do enough damage to kill anything. So she's kind of like a wasted. I was able to survive that but she has just have way too much healing and I just don't have enough actual damage to do anything to him. And then as you can see my tank and my healer is bad, badly damaged. Even with the skill I wasn't able to kill. I'm just devastated by that. It's just ridiculous. But it could be because he has well uh, soldier training. Um, that's my assumption that his soldier training is probably max at 80 and mine is not. I'm gonna assume that, I could be wrong. But as you can see, I barely do any damage. And he's just wrecking me. But I was able to secure a kill there. But just not enough, just not enough. Because I I don't have the AoE healing to sustain and he just hitting me so hard. With the AoEs, as well as single target. And Luna just continue to fail to kill. And I think he's gonna do some crazy stuff here. So, but I think finally I was able to get the Q here. But my problem is now he's bringing back his AOEs and he clocked again. So this is his... He clocked twice now with that skill. And since I lost my healer, I lost my tank. And then it's really GG from here. I just don't have the enough, I guess firepower to kill anything especially not when he has a tank and he has licorice and I have no healing so that see another AOE just completely destroys me and because of licorice's soldier she can heal herself Plus it reflects damage, so technically I'm killing myself here. And then because of the ground effect, uh, I end up dying. And of course now without Emmerich, I, I was not able to ignore guard. So yeah, great job on game one Kaze. So he switched it up and I switched it up. Um, I took out Luna, I replaced... Let me see here. Uh, I brought in Betty and I brought in Green and then he brought in Zarita. Uh, more 
and he and as player one i think it's pretty it, it kind of makes sense because he can be a little bit more aggressive so let's see what what, what we go from here ban kruger as usual first i got rosenseal ban i figured that out that much he picked rosenseal first i said okay that's interesting he didn't go with hilda this time so i banned hilda and got rid of kayura because i don't have luna anymore and first pick SPL to Miller. So that party caught him a little bit off guard. Um, but he did get rid of Florentia and T Jess and pick um, Bernhardt. Very strong, right? Already Empire buff. I had to get rid of Long Leg and Teleport, bringing my healer. I still have my tanks. But now I got the two strong ones. Got And then he brought in Helena. Very pain in the butt. I got rid of Zarita. And Florentia and Brighton Juggler. I want to do something a little bit different because it is a water map. Got rid of the, the two Landius and he brought in Juggler as well. So he he's going to do some interesting plays here. I got rid of the other Assassin and brought in Ares. And I'm going to assume he's, he's going to bring D lid. Yep, he brought in D lid again, his favorite. And I believe I yeah I went with Licorice uh, because I I did want a little bit extra healing for the fact that he has AOE here a lot of AOE and AOE here as well and then yeah so okay let's see oh no and then the other reason why I brought Licorice is because she can actually fusion buff for SBL to Miller so that's the other reason why I brought her okay let's go and look at. Soldiers and skill selection. Okay, so he went with very interesting, very strong defensive Bernhardt. Uh, he actually brought an Iron Fist, so he's able to take physical guard from two range. Pretty typical on Juggler, looks like it's Bracer here and Werewolf. So they have two Werewolves. And then there is Rosenstein, and he's, well, what's even more interesting is he went with 3C, single heal, and he went with the single target attack. Uh, and I think it's probably because I have a Juggler, so, and he brought Sorceress to do more damage. Uh, and then what's even more interesting to me is he brought his Elven Aura, which is his 2C, which can actually negatively impact Juggler. But I think he, he knows that, but um, you know, it's going to plan to position accordingly. And then of course, Helena, very strong, very irritating to fight and then brought Royal Cavalry. So to really battle against my physical attacks um, there. So, and lots of range, lots of range. On my side, I just went typical with Juggler. Uh, typical with SP Alter Miller. Uh, I have Ares. Uh, yep, normal. And then I did, like I mentioned earlier, I did bring Fusion Buff so that uh, Alter Miller can have have his full kit. And then for Liana, I actually brought Ak again Prayer, which is in AOE to sort of counter their side. And then I wasn't exactly sure what skill Bernhardt was going to bring, so I did bring Mass Protect to help a little bit with the physical damage to give everybody defensive buffs but the most importantly uh, to prevent uh, healing in case if you decided to bring uh, the sword dance okay so that's the thought process be between that um, and I did bring uh, angels because there is some magic damage going on here and I didn't believe the other soldier was going to be strong enough to break through juggler anyway so I did bring the wind whisper here okay so that's the uh soldier and skill selection so let's see what what happens so we both kind of inch forward he buffs up So that's nice, I got a breeze, so that's really to my advantage because now I have options. Buff up. 
So he's ready to kind of go in if you need to. So the breeze on Helena, which is bad news for me. And I noticed that he went in. I think he was trying to fish for a breeze to kind of snipe me, but he didn't get it. So he wasn't able to get the RNG there. So he did use Iron Fist, so he's guarding two now. I inch forward. I'm staying back. So I think he's preparing to jump with Juggler because he did get that heal there. But he didn't. So I'm I'm go I was gonna try something a little bit fun. So he saw that I act again on Eri, so he's not hundred percent sure what I was doing. Most likely uh, I'm gonna try some something fun. So he did move the lid away from the group so she doesn't get pool. Okay. So now I have two characters and let's see what happens. So I brought in Ares. Went in, AoE here, and then pull these three characters. Okay, so Juggler is up on top now, which is perfect, what I wanted. And do some damage to everyone. Then I went in with SP Ulti Miller and pull these three. And from here, I was able to do some damage to our friend Bernhardt. And then I was actually able to kill him off, which is perfect. That he was the main f fusion buffer for these other two people. So I, I did. So it's a trade, but I think it was worth the trade. And I was able to securely um, Ares retreat as well. So because I know he's able to snipe with D-Lit, so for me I just kind of hand back and use my 3C. So I'm fully guarding everyone. Still hanging back trying to look for an opportunity. I just staying back because I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to go and do anything. And he's just kind of dancing around. So he's looking for an opportunity as well. So I'm just going to buff up and just, just wait. Be patient. I don't think either of us have uh, seen an opening yet. Oh, but he did get a breeze, so my assumption is that he's probably going to make a, a move soon. But this also gives me the chance for Ares to get all of his cooldowns closer so I can 3C again. So now he got to up Juggler, powering up, so my, I'm going to assume he's going to jump in like now. Yep, and he did because he powered everything up. Lock me down. So now both. So by doing that, um, Licorice is stuck. The fog is like right there. And then of course, Ares is stuck. So if he play it correctly, uh, he might be able to trap my Ares. Okay, so I was aware of that. Okay, but I'm still guarding, which is good. But my problem is... Uh, my magic uh, guard is no longer there. However, d shouldn't be able to kill Licorice because I have a Sorceress and, and I also uh, have Fusion buff. So she should be able to survive. Ares have Angels, so I'm not afraid of d -Lid. And of course, Liana is quite durable. Okay, so here comes Helena. Doing some AoE damage there. That hurt a lot. And trying to do some damage to Juggler. But by doing damage to Juggler, you actually healed Licorice back up. So I'm pretty healthy now. Except for Ares, who's 
about half dead. So I have no choice but to use 3C. Here, everybody back up. And he went and because he already have the middle, his 3C, which kind of makes sense. So now I'm in a lot of trouble. If you look at the positioning, my Aries is kind of trapped. So I had to use some um, big brain tactics here. At least that's what I like to call it. Even though I'm trapped, like what can I do to turn the situation around, right? He has all the healing he needs. He has, you know, that's a very dangerous dealer. He can do a lot of damage. I'm trapped with the two. Uh, and there's really no way for me to kill Helena. Uh, definitely not with Ares and especially with him guarding. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to 3C with Ares. And because of how it works, I was able to get out of my dangerous situation. I pull Juggler away, so Helena is no longer being guarded. Go back to safety, and then be shock, and I was able to kill off Helena. Perfect. So as you can see, I was in a situation where I was bit literally stuck and would have um, died very easily. Um, and I was able to get out because of using Ares to kind of pull them away. So he wasn't really meant to kill anything. But by pulling them away, I was able to secure a kill on Helena and get myself out of that situation. I, wa I was uh, advised by someone that earlier instead of using AoE with Ares, I should have single attack Rosenseal. Which could have been a kill uh, because she didn't have... Fusion buff, and um, but I, I'm not sure. But anyways, he did his job, so that's fine. So here he comes trying to do some damage. I lived. Let's kill everybody back up with prayer. So he's repositioning, hoping to block me out. So I had to move in a way where I won't be killed, but at the same time, I don't have water on Juggler. So that's one problem that I had. So I had to do what I did, and because he mispositioned his Juggler, his dealer got killed. But now it's really 4 against 2 and he doesn't have any bite anymore. So all I really need to do was just be very careful with positioning and make sure no one really dies. And my opponent saw that and I was winning by damage as well so Game to end to me. Now I switch my <laughs> heroes back. <laughs> so now I am back uh, with Emmerich and I brought back uh, Luna. I'm not sure why I did that. <laughs> but my uh, my backup Betty and uh, Reen didn't see any action. Not at all. Uh, and I believe he didn't make any changes either okay yep so this is now the third game so this is gonna be tricky because everything um is back to him being player one again um and let's see what happens but it's gonna be a little tricky and again i think it all comes down to trying something a little bit different Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, start off with ban pick, banning Kruger first, cause he's first player. I got rules and seal ban as expected. He went with Hilda, that's what I figured. And I believe I went with, um, what did I, I think I went with first pick SP Miller again. Got rid of the rules and seal and T Jess. I got Bernhardt and Florential ban again. 
it seems like the same bands. He picked a Florentia, I figured that much. So I got rid of Bernhardt and the other Assassin. Brought in Diana. Because I wanted to act again. Got rid of Luna and Hilda this time. And he brought Kayura. So I have to be careful there. Because I didn't know if he was 5 or 6 stars. Got rid of Long Leg and the other Assassin. And picked my own tank. And then I didn't pick Juggler just for the fact that uh, Landius is able to has an aura which can help reduce some range damage so um, that's the reason why I brought I picked Landius instead okay and got rid of Emmerich and the other tank and then brought in Licorice again pain in the butt so double heals got rid of D-Lit finally this time I got smart and brought my own Licorice to counter his Licorice and also fusion buff for SP Ultimate Miller I lose and then he picked with Helena. And then for me, I had a couple options. Um, I could have brought Odious, right, to kind of deal with Helena. And then I already going to get a fusion buff from Landius anyways. However, I, and there's no actually fusion buff for Arian Rod. And I think that's the reason why he gave it to me. But sh I picked Arian Rod specifically because it's going to work. I was gambling. I was gambling for this one specific instance and you'll see so I know she oh and look at that look at that look at this first move she already got a Tenyo B breeze and literally now she can reach my entire team from round one look at that move nine moves if she's using the rain staff can probably hit one two three four up to like right here that's just crazy right one two three four yep crazy round one okay but it's okay so i move licorice buff up he sits up hilda i moved up with so she gospel herself I moved up this a little bit. Oh! Before we begin, let me take a step back. I do apologize because I did want to go over the soldier selection and whatnot. Okay, so let's look at the soldier selection skills. So for Kayura, uh, he brought Star Shine, which is the teleport back, Star Slash, which I believe is the 3C. And then he brought a gospel because there's no one else to really buff her. Although, Licorice could have buffed. Um, I'm not sure why she didn't choose to do that. Uh, but I think maybe because he wanted the double AOE. Um, he could have also brought Florentia with the mass attack. But he wanted the extra heal. So that's fine. He did bring Faceless. Um, most likely because he knew that I was going to bring some uh, special troops there, which is fine. And then Helena, normal, and then instead of the other, he did bring Ram for Hilda. Okay. On my side, SP Ultimate is the same, but I did bring Arian Rod with Templar Knights because of Kyura and then, you know, the two magic users here. I also brought Templar Knights for Liana, and then I used Sorceress for Licorice instead of the other uh, physical reflect. Uh, and then I, bring, I brought Royal Cavalry because, you know, Landis is not really scared of uh, range. Uh, and then I brought Rout instead because he didn't really have anyone to buff besides himself, so I, that, it was fine. And then for Liana, I just brought the typical Akagen Gospel Heal. And then I did bring Fusion Buff for, uh, for SP Ultimate Miller. Okay, so sorry about that. So let's now move forward back to where we were earlier. Yep, so we went here. I'm, I inch forward. Okay, so I think this is where we're at. So he went AoE Heal. And act again on Kayura. So he's gonna try to snipe me like right now. So I, w I brought back. But 
not enough. Even with crit, because of the Templar Knight, I was able to take a lot of the damage. And because of Landius, I was able to completely help eliminate some of those range attacks. So now he now he already lost his 3C, so it'll be a couple rounds before she's going to be able to snipe again. So basically now it's the uh, dancing all night long part again. So all of us are kind of repositioning, trying to find an opening. I was fishing for Breeze on SP Ultimate Miller, but I don't think I don't think I got any. We're just kind of dancing around. So this is the round where I believe the next round, the fourth round, right? Where Hilda is actually gonna lose her uh, two range guard. However, SP Altimiller is too far away. He didn't get a breeze, and that's why he positioned all his troops back here. Okay, so very good positioning on his part. He's just kind of hanging back, staying away from me. I don't have any breeze, so I can't reach them. But now he got a breeze, which is bad for me. And then here he comes with AoE and doing some damage and painting the middle of the ground again. I heal myself back up. So now, oh, another Tenyo breeze on Kaiura. What is the chance of that, right? So this is looking bad for me because he's now able to do 2 range guard again. So because of that, he feel like he can come in and do some damage. So here I am, had to be a little bit more aggressive, and I got that clock, I'm God sent. That clock is what kind of saved me. I got a heal block on her as well, I believe. So because he paint the ground like that, right? because he paint the ground like that, uh, I know he's most likely going to be coming in. I did want to have Licorice to be able to uh, heal again with her 3C because I was I did clock. So that's the reason why for that act again. Okay. And I also want the turn advantage because I'm not sure what he's going to do because he does have six stacks now. So he can do an act again with Kyura, Helena combo. It could get very dangerous. So sure enough, he came in, kill off Liana and retreated okay so i went in and 3c with arian rod do some damage and unfortunately not enough she healed back up back to full and then act again on kayura okay so here is the tricky part right um why i said it was a gamble on arian rod is because of her 3c she didn't as you can see they're very healthy i really haven't done much but i did remove a whole bunch of buffs uh, which will allow me to do this next so now spl to miller comes in does his dragon dance brings in them three Okay, and I got silence. That's the RNG, right? But I was able to kill off Karyura. But I wasn't able to act again. So he came in with Helena. And killed off my Aaron Rod. But thanks to my clock 3C, I was able to help everybody up. And now he's stuck. Right? And then I got a perfect, perfect silence there. 
So if you, let's just look at the the positioning and what happened. So the reason why I said I was gambling a little earlier and I was able to um, pull off this SP Alter Miller combo is because Arian Rod actually dispelled three three buffs, but one of the most important one that she dispelled is her two range guard, and that was that, and that's the gamble. I don't know if it's going to happen because she has so many buffs, but it did dispel the right one which allowed me to kill off Kayura and also do some decent damage to Licorice. Now this is the final part because her can come in here to make possibly guard Licorice right but that means I could kill either I then that means my Espin Ultimate can kill off uh, Florentia or even Helena okay um, so he and then there's no two range guard and Helena being horse is not able to jump in the water here so she can't really be in a situation where she guards everybody so he you know was thinking like who what, what should he do uh, but I think that's where the problem is he moved right here right because he wanted to do some damage to both of my characters but it allowed me to do my 3C and then 3C again because of the positioning. So basically, he threw the game here by moving Helena up. So I was double killed there, 3 against 2. Yeah, that was the game. So I know the, the ending was a little tricky. Um, not sure why Kaze decided to move Helena like that because he was probably thinking about using, you know, her passive to do AOE damage to me but unfortunately because of that specific positioning allowed my SP Ultimate to 3C act again and 3C again which literally um, yeah gave me the game so uh, I, and, and I think uh, a lot of has to do with being in uh, in playoffs and you know high stress very t high tension you're trying to figure out is like hey you know what is it that i need to do to win the game but sometimes you just think too hard and forget some of the the fa basic fundamentals of how some of the heroes work so uh unfortunately for kaze uh he did uh, make a mistake and fortunately for me i was able to win due to that uh, and i think you know when, when you get to uh when you get up to this level, um, I think it's really who make the least mistakes that wins the game. Um, and we'll see what happened the next day because I'm going to make, I, I made a lot of mistakes the last day fighting against Sui. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. That's the preview of my next video, me getting slaughtered. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed uh, day three and... Uh, one more video coming in a day or two just but it's nothing to really look forward to at least not for me anyways okay that's really it take care and aloha